Oh, Ace Ventura. Who could forget your insane antics like the uh, like the butt talking thing and the the don't go in there and uh, and well the butt talking thing. But did you know there was a video game? And here it is, Ace Ventura, the game. You know, this is only for peace. Wait a minute. Where is it? I'm flipping it up! I don't know where it is! Oh, I'm angry! You know who this is a job for? Mega Man! The Game Detective! My shirt's busting open! Why, yo? Finkel's Einhorn! Einhorny! Finkel! I've got a game to find! Oh, wait, there it is. I found it. Ace Ventura The Game was released on October 31st, 1996 for the PC. It was developed by 7th Level, a Dallas, Texas-based computer company that made such memorable games as Howie Mandel's Toon Land, Battle Beast, and Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games for the SNES. Ace Ventura The Game is actually based on the short-lived Ace Ventura animated series of the mid-90s, which, small fact, was one of the first cartoon writing jobs for Seth MacFarlane. And it aired right after the animated series The Mask, another cartoon based on a Jim Carrey movie. Seriously, if you're, if you're not old enough to remember, we were addicted to this guy. The game starts off with a little cutscene and throws you right into the first challenge. I must admit, I'm pretty impressed. The animation is pretty clean, the voice acting is done fairly well, and the story seems to involve animals. But boy can look to be deceiving. Problem is, this isn't a point-and-click adventure game. I mean, it is. You point, you click, your AC moves over there, but, but it isn't. Like in the 90s, there was an entire line of children's games made by a bunch of different companies that involved you clicking on elements and having stupid shit just happen. It wouldn't progress the plot or give you a higher score, you just click, you just stupid shit would happen. Well, that's what happens in this game, but like, just sometimes. You click on something, an animal pops out, and you, you kind of just wait there, you know, see see the game changes. But nope, it was it was just stupid shit. But then other times, you're lucky, you find, you find the thing to click on, or you find the thing to click on with the thing you're carrying, and it actually progresses the game somehow. This sucks for a game like this, because when you click and you get a reaction, you think, oh, okay, wait, this is something. And you try every item you have on that thing, but but nothing. Okay, so then you just assume you'll get an item in the future that'll affect that thing you just clicked on. But, but nope, we're leaving. Bye-bye, stupid shit. I miss you. So the gameplay actually starts at Ace Ventura's apartment. And the first thing I notice is a weird lag between when you click on something and the, uh, the impending animation that occurs. I don't know, I guess you could blame it on being an old game, but LucasArts and Sierra games, those are older. They don't do that. Ah! And I'm pretty sure the computer I'm playing this on is a lot stronger than the computer they made this game on, so I just I don't see why it's a thing. So you click on everything until you get to this laptop or, or you know, the portable computer. Oh my god, 1996, you're glaring in my eyes, get out of here! And then suddenly, without warning, you're just kind of thrown into a side-scrolling action adventure. Hang on, what the fuck? Why won't the mouse work? Oh, oh, oh! So, okay, the game goes from a normal point and click to a what the frick is this? Okay, you can't, you can't just change your mind about what kind of game you want to be. Okay, you gotta be mature. You gotta be an adult. You gotta pay your taxes. Here's a list of reasons why this part sucks. One, no pause. While you're flipping out because the mouse is jack poop, your other hand will be slapping on the space bar or the enter or shift. You're gonna try to pause the game, but nothing. You just keep getting hit. Number two, getting hit. When you get hit once, you get hit like five freaking times. You know that mechanic in every game, like, ever, where you get hit and you kind of blink for a few seconds and you're invincible? It kind of lets you get out of the way. We regain your bearings so you don't get hit again. But this game, it doesn't do that. No, in fact, they went full retard. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Every time you're hit, your controls are just disabled for a few seconds. Are you kidding me? Did you get hit again? And again, the cycle just keeps continuing forever. Aception. Number three. Probably thought I, there wasn't gonna be a number three. Thought the list was done. No, there's another crap part of this. Since he's underwater, Ace Ventura is actually losing oxygen. Because that is how these things work. Come on down, Santa's Jamaica, schoolboy. Collect all these things. Look out for the water resistant toilet paper. It takes away your health oxygen. So you have to collect these by traveling into danger. You get hit, you get a. Okay, I'm just, I'm dead. Why am I going so fast? 
I don't even know how I got to the end of this. Okay, so now you're on a submarine with this French man. Okay, you found his bedroom. Cool. Oh, you found a secret room. Oh, that's really cool. Why you found secret coordinates? Who cares? Where are the animals? Where's the funny crap? Okay, listen, I understand you're trying to make a complex game, but when you stray this far from your source material, you've got to recognize that you're doing something wrong. <sighs> so somehow you get to a volcano island and you get to play Frogger for a second and release some whales. I don't care still. Then if you go right back to your apartment with all the animals that don't do anything, you go back on your portable computer and you travel to... Oh yeah, awesome. Okay, good. The racism island. This right here, this is indigenous Inuit, aka the native owners of Alaska and Siberia. And this, this right here, this is the freaking Flintstones. These two things, they were never a thing. This is stupid. I shouldn't have to educate. This game, this game, it's getting to me. This part of the game, it really sucks. Okay, you're driving the snowmobile. Okay, you just crashed. A million times! I mean, one million to the T, you're gonna crash! Crash? 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 Crash! This is not fun, okay? This isn't a game I wanna play. <laughs> this isn't fun. <laughs> See, I, I thought it was gonna be a bad game. Then it looked like it was gonna be a good game. And then it was a bad game. It was just a roller coaster of emotions. And I just, I can't even deal with it right now. I don't even care. I've just never played a game worse than this. What the? Ace and Torah in the case of the cereal shaver? I read about this on some forums. It's, it's like super rare. Where's my laptop? Oh my God, it's right here. Let's play it. No. This means quiet. Oh. There's not even a keyboard in this. It's like a display model. I mean, it's broken. It's not even real. <laughs>